Matt, second of uh, two home games in a row coming up this weekend. Last weekend, home to Bradford, one of the, the promotion chasers. Um, tomorrow, home to Rochdale, a side that, that didn't, or Saturday, home to Rochdale, a side that didn't start so well um, this season. Two different types of games, but will you be having gone down to Bradford last week? Will you be look, looking to sort of, have you been looking at the positives from that game this week and uh, trying to build on those for Saturday? Yeah, yeah, of course. And I, I think there were quite a lot of positives out of the game. Uh, especially the way we started the first half performance. Um, yeah, the togetherness, the, the endeavour, the the fight, the determination, the tempo, the energy. Yeah, it, it was all there. It was just a shame we couldn't get that first goal in the game because I felt we deserved to. Uh, and then I think that the whole story would have been different. But uh, no, uh, against, like I said, uh, the, for me, the favourites to win the league at the start of the season, the most experienced manager, the biggest club, and to go toe-to-toe -to -toe for them. Um, with with where we're at currently uh, was uh, a really pleasing and promising afternoon just other than the results. So, no, we worked hard again in training this week. Uh, and, yeah, of course, we're, we're up against uh, another tough side in, in Rochdale, another tough game at the weekend. And and as you say, a team that, that couldn't get a win at the start of the season for, for many games, um, and, and which resulted in them changing their manager. And since Jim's come in, he's, he's managed to get a few results and made them a lot more resilient and harder to beat. And uh, and you just look at their last four games and, and one nil score lines in all four uh, going either way. Um, we know it's very tight playing against Rochdale and we expect a very tight uh, game on Saturday. Yeah, they brought in brought in Jim Bentley, an experienced manager. And as you say, he seems to have turned the, turned the ship around in the last last couple of months. And, and now's a, a, a much more difficult time to play them than possibly had, had, we, had we had them in the first month of the season. Yeah, I've always thought that over the course of a season, you you need to get a little bit fortunate with timings of when you play teams um, because teams then can change up, obviously, form, but certainly could be related to by changing with their manager. Uh, and there might be good times to play teams and, and, and not so good times and uh, injuries related in terms, in terms of squads as well. And that, that would be for us as well. Be, there'd be good moments to play us and there'd be times when there wouldn't be. So it works all around. Um, but uh, yeah, now since he's come in, uh, he certainly managed to turn a little bit of a corner with them. And looking at looking at their squad, they got Ian Henderson up front again. Their record record goal scorer broke the broke the club record last week. Obviously, a player to player to keep an eye on. Yeah, hugely experienced, played hundreds of league games, uh, yeah. most of them for Rochdale. Um, but yeah, a real natural goal scorer and, and someone we've certainly got to be wary of at the weekend. And from our point of view, just above Rochdale in the table at the moment, so important to to get the. Get the three points on Saturday. Turn around the after after last week and the, the, the Stockport Stockport and Farnborough results. Um, looking for a confidence confidence booster and with a vic, the, the victory would bring. Yeah, and and that's all we can do is is the disappointment of a Saturday, uh, and the result is just dust ourselves down, work hard this week, uh, which we have got a real strong mentality within the group to to look to try and bounce back and and hopefully we can do that on Saturday and get off to a fast start and get the first goal in the game and. And then, and then kick on from there. And last last season, it was one of our, our we caught them at in one of our more convincing times of the times of the season, beating them three 0 NGO Baldwin got two goals. It's his thirtieth birthday, I think, today, so it'll be a, a chance for him to celebrate on on Saturday, possibly, and uh, and get on the score sheet again. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I remember him, especially his free kick uh, at the Collingwood Road end. So yeah, uh, NGO's birthday, and uh, yeah, hopefully he's celebrating on Saturday too. And from again. From the, from the club's point of view, the, the World Cup on no no games in the Championship and the uh, and the Premier League, so a chance to, to possibly get some people into the ground that we don't normally get get in and, uh, and uh, put on a good show put on a good show for them in the hope that they'll come back. Should remind that you no know, season ticket holders of other clubs can come in for half price on Saturday if they turn up at our ticket kiosk for uh, at uh, between between one and one and two I think it is and, and um, also our own season ticket holders um, can can bring a friend for half price. So the chance to get get people into the ground and uh, and make a good impression. Yeah, hopefully with this, this month of the World Cup, just uh, attracts in the, the Championship and Premier League clubs in, in the local area and their supporters to come down and support support their, their local local sides while they want to watch live football. Um, and one thing you always know with, with going to Green Lane and Sutton United is you're going to get a, a real uh, good welcome, a great community club. Um, and also you're going to get 11 players um from us, you know, wearing a heart and sleeve, a heart on their sleeve, and uh, and giving it their all for for the ninety minutes, and uh, and uh, for me, that's very entertaining. Uh, and hopefully, we can uh, get a victory uh, for the for the last support too. 
will just clarify it's between 1.30 and 2.30 that those season ticket holders should turn up um, to claim their claim their half price admission at the, at the ticket kiosk. It's 1.30 1 to 2.30 on Saturday. Um, I've got Kwame Thomas back last week, able to play with his with his hand. What's the, the situation on any of the other injuries likely to, likely to be closer? Presumably most of them still still a way away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're not look, looking likely to return anytime soon. Um, although it's been a positive week, Ali Smith and Harry Butman have been running outside uh, with their boots on and doing some straight line running. So that's really, really good to see. Um, and we've had some really positive news with Ben Goodlift today on some strength tests with his muscles. And now he can start running tomorrow um, out on the grass. So another huge step in his recovery. So, so yeah, they're, they're all progressing really well, but uh, not looking to return anytime soon. And I should say as well, it's th the third game of Omar's suspension on uh, Saturday, so he'll be he'll be missing as well. With a chance again for for one of the other strikers to to step up to the plate and, uh, and make a make an impression in his absence. Yep, this is last one of three, and uh, he'll be back for the Papa John's game on Tuesday night. So he's been working hard in training. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 they're all there for the returning players, either from injury or suspension, it's for the one, current ones to stake a claim to keep their shot. Are you reasonably happy with with the way that the, the, the attack's been in, in Omar's absence, that the, the, the guys have stepped up? Yeah, it was difficult for Kwame with breaking his hand and missing the Farnborough game, having to get the cast fitted. Uh, young Killian's done well. Um, you know, he's learning all the time and he's got potential. Um, yeah, with, with Donovan and Charlie and Top eight, there's good options up there. Um, but we just need to to take one of those chances. Not like we're, we're not creating. Uh, we've just got to take take some of those chances we are creating. Now, talking of players with potential and, and learning all the time, I know you were, you were at Merson on Monday um, to see the academy side um, go through in the Surrey Senior Cup, and you must have been hugely impressed with the way they played that game. Yeah, yeah, I was really impressed. And uh, three 0 victory, and uh, some really good performances, some good goals, and uh, no, I was, I was really pleased with the outcome of the evening. And, and allows them to co carry on in the Surrey Senior Cup, um, which I guess from a po your point of view is important because the, the, although the academy side took that game and 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 would presumably still pre form the main part of sides in future rounds, it, it, it is a competition in which if you need to get a player a game who's who's been coming back from injury or something, it gives you the opportunity. So it's important to stay in that competition as long as possible. Yeah, to the options. Definitely, with the Surrey Senior Cup, it's always at the time where we're at in terms of the amount of games we're playing at the time squad uh, injuries etc and obviously where we're currently at it wasn't one that I was going to play any first team players in but um, yeah with the, with the positive of, of winning a game and progressing through to the next round which is great um, then we'll see where when that next round is and who we're against and where it is and where we're at at the time and you never know it might coincide with with the likes of Nanny Smith or Aaron Pierre's and Harry Butemans and whoever else may be returning from injury that might need um, some valuable minutes at that time. But we'll we'll see that when that when that comes around. Well, so we'll worry about that one after, after Christmas. I think the next round is before that. We've got, got Rochdale on Saturday. Um, hope everybody will get down and get, get behind the lads and, and uh, give them the support. And hopefully we'll pick up the three points and uh, start climbing the table. Thanks a lot, Matt, as always. And um, we'll see you on Saturday. Brilliant. Lovely. Cheers, Tony.